Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And over the years, I've done several videos on overlapping objects or rings. And this blue looks like it's behind the pink, and the pink looks like it's on top, and then goes in. There's many ways to do that, and most of them are done with the virtual segment delete key, and you delete. But that's not what the video is about, but I'm just going to show you how that works. You just delete some lines. Whoop, I'm deleting the wrong one. Um, and then you use the Smart Fill tool to fill in one of the colors, and it leaves that opening. And then you pick a second color, and you fill in that. And it it's a true interlocking mechanism. But there's another way to do that. Well, there's more than one way to do that. And for some reason, I think I've got two sets of rings here, which I do. You know, after you've been using Krell long enough, you start seeing things. Um, I've been playing with this, and I made, whoop, made too many copies, too many duplicates. You can just see that it's not quite clear. Anyway, that's what I did. I moved those down. So, one way to do it, another way to do it, and this, I would suggest using the virtual segment delete key, but this is kind of, kind of gives you some look into the other ways to do things with the smart fill tool. I'm going to click on there. I'm going to nudge it over, and then I'm going to click on here. I'm going to nudge it over, and then you just need to pick one of these and nudge it over. Then change your color and click on that one and nudge it over. Click on that and nudge it over. Click on that and nudge it over. It did the same thing. Now, the only thing that I would be concerned with with that would be there might be a line between these two spots. You know, the engraving, that might show up. So to fix that, go to Arrange, select everything, go to Arrange and combine it. Now those lines are gone. Take your, select all that, go to Arrange and combine, and then nudge it back. So there's one way to do that. Here's another way, just to kind of give you some insight on how to do some things. Let's take the two-point line and just draw two-point lines. Whoops, make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to click on my line. I'm going to nudge it over. I'm going to nudge that one over. I'm going to nudge my two circles over. I'm actually going to make a copy of that, Control-D, and put it back. And Control-D and put it back. Now I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key and I'm going to delete everything on that side of the circle. I'm going to fill this thing in with one of the colors. I'm going to get rid of my lines. Now I'm going to take my smart fill tool and I'm going to use it. Well, what we do is grab one of these and move it over. And we're going to make this one purple. So we're going to smart fill purple. This one, we're going to smart fill orange. Doesn't really matter. And we're going to nudge that back over. You let, I left my rings, but no big deal. We're going after the color. Now you can see that this is on top on both sections. Move, nudge that over, and control page up twice. It really looks like it's there. And there's no really any lines. But there's another way to do it. It kind of teaches you, you know, different layers. So this looks like it's interlocking. You could do that with a lot of objects and a lot of items. And I would still 
you know, for a printer, this might work. Engraver, I would still use the virtual segment delete key method. But anyway, you might be able to use that in another scenario. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.